I love the way it says go live and then it says are you ready like are you sure it's like well sure as I'm ever going to be really so yes <laughs> so here we are again um two in a week what am I like um this is an unexpected haul to be fair um took hubby off to work and ended up stopping off somewhere uh, actually a charity shop that I believed had closed I thought they were they shut down for good and that they weren't going to open so when we went past in the morning it was like Ooh, okay it's open then I go in there and have a lovely lovely chat with an, an ex flight attendant chap who's running the show in there at the moment and blimey <laughs> fascinating very very lovely man and they had some nice stuff in so I had a good old route round and seemed to have done okay in fact jewelry bags who knew you could get them in the UK oh people are in Oh, 33 misses. Hello, 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 love. Scooby Shaggy, jewelry sales, and Antoinette Daly. Hello. I thought it's such a nice day. People are more than likely to be out and about, but you can always catch up. It doesn't have to be live, does it? It's just it's the only way I can do it because I failed to learn any other way of making a broadcast. <laughs> so so there we have it. Um yeah, so I got I did get a few bits and pieces. It's not all jewelry. I spent a grand total of £31 and um, for some reason it's soggy. don't know how that happened. I think my water leaked. So, yeah. Two jewellery bags, so the five are each. And then some other odds and ends, which I can't quite, quite work out what's what, but here we go. Let's see if we can find it. So, in the clothes. <laughs> I'm distracting you again. I'm so sorry, Lex. How's it all going? How's, how's the listing? I bet you're ploughing through. I bet you're ploughing through. <laughs> I will get to the jewelleries. I'll do the clothes first and the bits. Right, first thing I found is a brand I don't always pick up because, as we know, it's a little bit saturated mint velvet. But this is a dress and it's in a rather, rather snazzy snakeskin print. Um, and it's got one of these high low hems where it's all low at the back and the front. I'm showing it off so well, so professionally. Dear God. So it isn't a shirt dress, it's half buttoned down to the skirt level, and then you've got a slit at the front and it goes lower at the back and the front. I thought that was rather cool. It's actually my size. I might try it, but it's I'm not sure it's me. <laughs> You're doing good. Good. So that was actually I paid three pounds fifty for that, but you know, it's got a bigger twenty five in it for sure. I will have. I haven't done research. I've literally stormed straight back through the door. Oh, excuse me. Itchy those already. Oh, right. So, we'll come to these goodies in a minute. And those. And those. Right. Now, I've got to be careful because I wrapped things up. I bought some breakables. And this breakable, I couldn't resist for a pound. Anyone know what it is yet? It's a design called Totem, I believe. It cost me a whole English pound. And it's by, I should know actually. I know it's Totem because I saw a vase and researched it, not buying it because it's huge and unwieldy. But it actually has a nice label on the bottom, which says Port Marion, Totem, that's helpful. England. Well, it's, it's not very easy to read. It's very difficult to read, but it has a nice stamp on the bottom. I just, I love the colour. I mean, wow. I presume it's what they call in America a creamer, like a milk jug. But I'm sure someone will be collecting that set and will want that. So I thought, why not? I, I couldn't help it. I love that design. It's so kind of pagan -y and cool. I mean, all these things, they look like they could be runes or something, but they're not. They're, they're inspired by various designs. How cool is that? I love the shape too. Look at that. Very mid-century modern with those lines. Just the coolest thing. So I'm hoping it'll get me some money back. Oh, is anyone having issues with listings this morning? Well, not Lex, clearly. <laughs> I haven't done any listings this morning. I, I tend to do drafts, loads of them, and then I do loads of photography, and then I mash it all together and schedule. So I, I, I've not done any much of that this morning. Typical. Oh, Steve is. Right. Oh, right. Okay. So there's obviously some sort of glitch somewhere. Let's hope they sort that out. 
because that's not fair on anyone doing a listing challenge. <laughs> These were £2.50. This isn't my £2 shop, so everything isn't two quid. It all varies. I picked these up because they're a very summery colour. They're kind of blush pink. Um, they're kind of lowish rise. Well, mid rise, I would say, but they've got the distressing. And they are a brand that's quite okay in America. And I do sell quite a few things to America. It's got that on the back. It's Adriano Goldschmidt. AG jeans. Adriano Goldschmidt. I've still got Heather the Weather on my descriptor. That's my other name in my witchy, in my witchy channel. Well, in Becky's Witches channel, the Witches Inn, because that's what I do. And it's just as well I did on the solstice, because we'd have got wet otherwise. These have got very raw hems. Someone couldn't be bothered to finish them off. Someone would have gone, oh, they're not worth much. They're falling apart. Funnily enough, <laughs> they're actually falling. Oh, Cherry, hello. It's the middle of the night, isn't it, for you? Is it? It's certainly, uh, yes, it must be late on into the evening. Nice to see you here. Hope things are going well down there and that you had a lovely winter solstice <laughs> if indeed it floated your boat right now i've got to undo this delicately because oh i liked these right i'll take the things out because you can't see cute little bowl a little fishy in it is she i think this is fused glass but i love this look all these bubbles and a bit random i just thought how charming and for a pound each and there were two of them so i grabbed them both because it would be rude not to you know the other one's little fishy is a blue one <laughs> how cool i thought they were lovely there's no mark or signature but they're nicely made i think they're quality and i will do some research into them cute little fishy and you see if someone's been really posh they could put their cat Food in the orangey dish and the water in the uh, blue dish. But my cats aren't, they're not getting that. God, no. <laughs> Far too good for them. <laughs> uh, I thought they were gorgeous. So I just I just like little things like that, you know. Part of me goes, oh, they're going to be a pain to pack. But I, I'm fairly lucky with packing things. And I say that as someone who uses Hermes. Um, I get the occasional breakable. I've, I've had very few touch wood, things that have actually broken in transit, even abroad. And I do sell quite a bit of glass and ceramics. Um, I just stuff it absolutely ramming full with newspapers so they've got nowhere to move. So unless the truck actually kind of lands on top, they, they stand a good chance. Let's put it that way. You know, This is the usual. We all know about Peruna, but it's a 14 long. And I liked it's actually oh, it's a nicer colour in real life than it's showing on the screen. It's not a dirty blue. It's actually a really nice teal colour. And it's got all the embroidery and stuff. Very hippie. Very boho. Someone will like that. Hello, Joan. <laughs> nice to see you. Now, you popped into Lexi's video the other day, didn't you? Oh, Kelly's in. Hi, Kelly. <laughs> Sorry, it's a kind of, it's jumped up. Hello, everybody. So, I mean, parent skirts don't fetch, fetch, fetch a load. But, you know... It was a nice colour. I liked it. Ah, now. Anyone like kitties? It's a very elegant kitty. Oh, cute. Now, there's no markings on these. I think they've got some age to them. They look like porcelain. It's got a cute little face. They are. His face is far cuter than mine. There we go. I'm get my fat face out of the way. There we go. Look. So sweet. He's rather lovely, but he's not the only one. <laughs> it was lush. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Rex. One layer of paper between each plate and one layer of bubble wrap around the cups. Not a scratch. They probably jammed it all in so tightly that nothing had a, had a way of knocking against anything else. Oh. 36 piece dinner service, though. Wow. That's. Um, brave and ambitious here's the bigger cat look at the face it's so cute it's so cute and there was such a three they were the first thing i spotted 
but they're wrapped in a coat, so I'm being very careful. Yeah. Where's the other one? There might be a set of two if I busted one. Let's have a look. Ah, there's the other one. Oh, they are a set of three. Yay! Now he has got the very tiniest little chip on one ear. But as a set of three, they are quite cute. Quite cute. Like I say, no markings on any of them. But they were three pounds for the set, and I thought, they're cats. Who's not to love? Who doesn't love a cat? Mm, it can happen if you overwrap. I think it's something to do with the void space in the boxes. There is a science to it, and I, I'm not an expert. But I love those three little kitties for three pounds. It was a miracle. Yeah, they do sometimes happen. <laughs> mm, and yet you can get stuff arrived damaged when you feel like you've packed it to, you know. To the rafters. Right, the last bit of clothing for the prints of some four pounds needs a little work. But right, it's probably going to be worth it because I do all right with these. It's, it's, it's a, yes, it's a coat jacket thing. Hang on, get that little label out. I hate those things. It's a super dry one. These go. It's the one with all, I've sold these before. The one's about 60 different. I mean, who needs three layers? One, <laughs> two, three layers of zips on their super dry item. I mean, can you imagine cold fingers on a winter's day and you've got three sets of zips to get through? Bloody ridiculous. Um, mm, yeah, this does have a name. Oh, here we go. Uh, the Wind Cheater. There we go. It's helpfully written in there. The Wind Cheater. I do have to sew this thing back on. That's not a major an issue. I can tidy that up and sort it out. It still has its hood because I've sewed them before where they've been missing the hoods. Needs some uh, defluffing. Uh, what you tend to get because they have these um, these kind of knitty fabric cuffs, is you have to end up tidying up the cuffs a bit because they get a bit, you know, they get bobbly. So I debobble, give it all the thorough wipe over, give it a wash if it needs it. Um, and yeah, so do well with that. I don't tend to spend out the super dry, but if I find it, there's a lot of it around here. Maybe that's some just spoiled. There's quite a bit of super dry. But these kinds of jackets, particularly, you know, a bit later in the year when it's cooling off again, <laughs> she joked, um, then, uh, you know, I do find quite a lot of decent super dry around here. Kelly says, I always remember my mum having a set of similar cats with long necks, but I broke one as a kid, so she glued it back together and made them all scarves to cover the break. I have often seen those lovely tall sort of black ones. My nan had one in the early 60s. And the, the neck is so pencil thin, they, they always get knocked or broken. But these, fortunately, have not been repaired. Or at least if they have, I can't see. So, yeah, I'm quite fortunate with those. But, you know, cats, who's not to love, really? You're sticking the wings, wing sheeters. Wing sheeters back in the day. Ah, wing sheeters. Wind. Yes. Probably sounds more like that when I say it with my teeth in as well. So, I need to get a, a dish because, hang on, let me show you the bits that didn't come in the bag first. I think this cost me two pounds because it didn't have a price tag on it. It's glass pearls, but they are Monet. I saw the M, if I can show you the M, little M there. And the clasp is really rather nice. So they're Monet. It says it on the back. There's a little wear on the back, but then no one sees the back, do they? So these are quite a nice set of... Um, I, pearls do... I think pearls will go... They're not so much of a summer thing. I think they tend to go more in the winter because people are wearing black and pearls against black looks fabulous. That's my theory. I don't know. Um, I'm not an expert. That's Lexi's area. The other thing I picked up which was in the special cabinet. <laughs> I had a look at it because I just thought it looked so complex. But if I get this tag off it, it'll probably help. I actually paid £4 for this, which could have been a mistake, but then I'm paying to learn a bit at the moment still. Um, I thought, well, that's intriguing. It has a little little crown charm up near the clasp. And if I can unravel it properly. Oh, man. 
it's one of these what I call a, a bolo necklace if you know what I mean so it's got a snake and snakes are always good we always love a snake with lovely green eyes Diamante sparklies hang on you've got my face in the way again nobody needs that there we go Diamante sparklies and then they go down to a crystal and a, a blobby bit technical term blobby bit keyword but I think these move or oh, I could be wrong no maybe it doesn't okay it looks like it's a bolo necklace but actually it's not so it'll hang right down in the valley <laughs> that's a bit um depends what you're wearing i think you don't want to lose that down in down in the deep valley do you really but of course inside the little crown when you peer a bit more closely are the lovely letters b and w this butler and wilson so i didn't mind paying four pound for that because i figured that's a nice name. It looks basically unworn. It's this. There is seriously not a hint of wear or anything about that. It's a modern piece. It's not an old one. But we, yeah, I love a snake too. Snakes are very powerful, very powerful symbols, and should be worn at every opportunity. That's why everyone loves the Slytherins, isn't it? <laughs> Let's. <laughs> so right, I'm going to get myself some sort of tray because I hadn't thought this through. So I can dunk out one bag of jewellery, five pounds, and another bag of jewellery, five pounds. Now I saw bits in here that I thought I quite liked. They had more. And in fact, what happened was I got chatting. <laughs> yes. I got chatting to this lovely chap who is looking after this shop and he said oh, oh we've got we've got loads we get so much i said well jewelry bags is a flipping great idea i said but if you seriously want to get rid of a whole load gave him my card said i do buy in bulk because i spent 31 pounds on this morning so i think that kind of made his day a little bit um i said i i can i'd like to buy more in bulk because that's i'm looking to establish my own contracts to do that because for me as a long-term goal in the future that's kind of where i want to head so let's get let's find the tray oh there's a cat under there there's, there's a cat in my packaging unexpected item in the packaging area right that's what i wanted i'm a mess at the moment i've got a whole load of filing when i say filing we close the bag and from and take up the garbage so i've got the little tray now which one should we do first that one's heavier they, they really haven't <laughs> left or right left or right kitty no i won't pack the cat he's far too big left or right then you choose i'll let someone choose this this is my right this is my left <laughs> it's my right and left he's curled up there fast asleep he, He's either curled up there on that sh my packaging shelf or he sits on the desk, peering out, being a real nosy neighbour, watching the birds and watching people coming and going. And, and we, he's got a telescopic neck. He's kind of like, oh, what they're doing. Oh, OK, well, we've got three rights and a left. We'll go with the right. Then. We'll go with the right. Well, we'll do the left. <laughs> OK, this, this is good weighty bag only five pounds what a whizzo idea so we'll tip it out and i will show you the um oh god oh, 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 oh. i've just dropped on it oh oh what was that could have been something valuable i don't know can i see a little something i will show you it doesn't work really good. if i do that there we go if i do that you don't have to look at my face it's got to be a good thing at this time of morning so we have something very large oh hi pamela <laughs> it's a bit tangulated though clearly and they've left all the price tags on so all the price tags are one pound fifty what were you thinking madam this is a magnetic you know a fair amount of this is going to be modern wearable or craft um but that's really not one pound fifties worth i think i've been a bit ambitious there oh these are plastic now these are what intrigued me and had me thinking oh maybe because they're this lovely oil finish oh look i did my nails as well that was lucky wasn't it 
theirs, but they are actually a plastic, but they're a very oil slick colour. Really nice. They're very nice. I mean, yeah, they're kind of cool beads. I was hoping they'd be glass because you would, wouldn't you? You'd hope they were glass. Now I need somewhere. I'm going to put them back in the bag, aren't I? I can see what's been happening. Right. Okay, so there's going to be a fair few things in here that I'm, you know, not, not deeply excited about. But, you know, they're good modern wearable stuff. It's just not my, not my area. Always worth checking these things for brands, though, because some of these things can be. There we go, nice stretches. Got a good amount of stretching. Perfectly functional. Now I've got an odd bead there, so clearly that's come off of something that will go in a crafty lot. But that's a ceramic bead, that's quite nice. Ooh, now this would have been nice if it hadn't been missing, missing some of its little sparkles. Which is a bit sad, because but it's not a branded one. But, you know, people are always needing, and myself included, always needing extra rhinestones for things. Yeah, some, something exploded in here clearly, because there's bits bits of things we have a tie clip now oh, this does have a bit of writing on the back i'm so not prepared am i let me see what this says a tie clip and it says stratton now i thought stratton only made um compacts you know powder compacts for ladies stratton made in england that is in super condition I'm not sure, you know, I may have to do a collection of tie pins, but that, and it's got engine, you know, the machined finish, you can't really see that again, machined finish, but that is immaculate, that looks like it was made yesterday, and it clearly wasn't, it's kind of a nice thing. Okay, why I need a picture hook, I don't know, that's clearly random. <laughs> To be fair, when you're paying five pounds for a bag of stuff, you're not actually, I, you know, I'm not, I don't have expectations. I thought it would be fun and interesting. I'm kind of lumping earrings out of the way because we might find matches as we go. There's a lot of odd bits. Right. And things that really aren't. Oh man, you know, they've got those, it's like there's something on a wire in here. Clearly not jewellery, something else. <laughs> Ooh, okay. The ooing and ahhing. There's a big piece of chunkiness. It's going to take a bit of digging out. Because it's all knotted. Ah, oh, man. And there's a, a thing on the string. So that's right. Let's, let's keep going. Let's keep going. That looks quite like a promising chain, but we'll come back to that in a second. Ooh, nice glass on it too. Ooh. Right. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, sadly, that is broken. But it has got the most incredible beads. It's not silver. It's, it's a snake chain. We all have a good snake chain. I'm pretty sure. So it's having a closer look at it. It's sadly broken, but it has these incredible glass beads. They are really nice glass beads. And it's a shame it's not on the silver chain, to be fair. But that can be repurposed and crafted beautifully I'm sure I love the, the idea of people repurposing things and this is odd odd this is from the exploded necklace I feel <laughs> hang on the section over there gosh that's so light you barely know it was metal it's a, a, a leaf but it is vintage nice little leaf brooch there so that's vintage. A really very badly tarnished 
badly, badly tarnished. She's got some lovely crystals, but again, some are missing. So this will make useful craft. It's got a lot of tarnish and wear. But that will make a nice crafting piece. So there's a lot of bling and sparklies in the crafting area, which is always good. Uh, a little faux pearl bracelet, uh, modern, quite cute. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, you're going to hear a lot of that today. I mean, could you get a bigger flower? Hang on, let me get that out of the way. Ooh, it's worth a fiver just for the fun of going through it all. I'm, yeah. Oh, I haven't been reading, have I? Lovely colour on the nails. This again is the green flash um, stuff. So this should last me two weeks. Two whole weeks. I actually did give in and buy more colours. The green flash thing is... Oh, I can't really, really show you, but it's it's gel nails. And um, it's quite quick to do. I can do it in about... I do it in about 10, 15 minutes. And I do it while I'm watching YouTube. So I'm not entirely wasting my time. This is a chunky monkey necklace, for sure. Oh, surprisingly difficult to fasten up. So I can show you. Triple strand, silver, very silver. Needs a little clean up, but actually, you know, that's a real statement. And that's kind of collar length. This is so huge. It's, um... Sadly, it's had a little, I don't know whether it will clean up or whether it's been scratched. I suspect it may have been scratched, which is a shame, but it's, it's still kind of quite a statement thing. So I'll, I'll have a closer look at that. <laughs> Certainly a decent amount in here. Cannot complain about that. Well, oh, this is quite cool. It's probably from Primark or something, but it's... It's very geometric, and that is in silver. I thought for a minute it was rose gold, but it's no, it's a silvery one. Just a kind of a opera length necklace. Oh, it has got a tag which says freedom, and freedom is top shop. So it's a nice modern piece, quite cool. I probably won't list that separately. I will probably put that in the lot for somebody too. But that is that's deeply cool. That is very, very nice. I'm quite happy to, for somebody else to get the benefit. I am somewhat behind when it comes to this thing. <laughs> Jewelry. Okay, this is nice. Some of these are glass. Yeah, some of these beads are glass. Some of these beads are not. <laughs> very boho, very long length. Flapper length. It's got these sort of things that look a bit like coins. With those, it's Chinese coins, isn't it? They have the holes in uh, don't know if I can see a brand. I'd have to go a long way around to find it. Lots of little charms, little hearts. Lots of little hearts, actually. Uh, like I say, some some stuff is kind of acrylic and some is glass. A real mixture. Metal bits in between. I don't think one of these has a brand on it. But I can't see one at the moment. Little bows, little puffy things. Yeah, really rather sweet though. It's probably modern, and it I I more than like to put that in a lot because although it is lovely, as I said, I'm I'm a bit lax at getting around to, to things. Ooh, nice. Right, this is a barrel class bonnet. So this is probably real hematite because I know there's faux hematite. Yeah, it looks like faux hematite, real hematite. Um, just a little collar length choker. That's kind of cool. Quite like that. I might throw that separately. I have a fondness for him type. Stuff over there. Ah, there are two of these. Okay. I'll put those in a minute. Little random stones. <laughs> All the things that crafters will love. There's some random bits of chain I'm picking up here too. That's somebody can do something with those, I'm sure. 
more random beads for crafting. It shouldn't take too long to go through this because it's 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 plastic. Oh man, dangler danglers. We have a little necklace here, it's very cute. There's butterflies on, so it's, a lot of people are very fond of butterflies. These are resin, possibly some glass beads in there. A little bit of scratching. So pretty though, a bit of fabric. And actually now I look at that, it looks like it's broken. So I think someone can craft with those lovely bits. And make something beautiful out of what's been thrown away. All random beads. I am putting together another craft lot. I, I know I've done it before. If I get this wire thing out of the way, we might, we might make quicker progress. <laughs> oh, random little bits. Oh, there's earrings and all sorts caught up in this. <laughs> oh, a knotty, knotty problem. Getting there. Getting there. Yeah, clearly some sort of a necklace has exploded at some point. Crafty bits. Yeah, and a broken, a broken wire necklace. They often do, but that has got nice bits of shell on and um, sort of moon glow beads. So that could be useful in a craft bag. <laughs> Tiny things all tangled together. Random hair clip. Rubbish. Now, is this another broken one? This could be. Is it broken? No, that's not broken actually. I mean, these sort of wire necklaces are very Y2K, aren't they, really? These. So I suspect they might make a comeback. A sweet, pretty little one. A little drape there, very elegant. I've got a I've got a stretchy bracelet, but it's very tangled up with something else. <laughs> oh, very tangled up. Okay, right. There's a, a little stretchy bracelet. That's in reasonably good order. That's all the earrings. I'll put those to one side. All little random bits of randomness. Very odd. <laughs> um. Aeroplane going over. Spitfire sort of thing, not a nothing else. Right, we have a they look like they could be real. And indeed they are. So that, those are actual pearls. Again, I don't think they're on sterling. And they are real pearls. So something like, like that might like a pearl lot. Taking the earrings out so we can pair them up after because it's easier. Bit of a knotty thing going on here. Ooh. Don't know why that's. Okay, there is a very small, very tiny um, little flat chain which says gold plated. Okay, gold plated, gold plated. Unbranded but gold. In fact, it's tiny. That's a child size. Minuscule. I mean, I've got small wrists. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> boy, they're small and they're tiny, tiny, tiny. It's some sort of elastic, -y, elastic mess here that somebody really didn't want to be bothered with. I think I can do that. Then we have 
a very thin necklace with a teeny tiny heart on, which has a little wear to be fair. It's got the tiniest, it's not, is that rose, rose colour? Yes, yeah, so that's a more modern little necklace that somebody might like. Might put that in the kid lot because it's quite small and delicate and might be appreciated. Um, earrings, bits. Right, what have we got here? Yeah, it's all right, that's not broken. And that's another, that's a hammered finish, that's quite nice. That's a bit of modern. It could be like a moon, a full moon. We have a full moon tonight. They're calling it a super strawberry moon, which makes it sound like it's good enough to eat, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it's quite powerful for magic, obviously, so a nice, a nice full moon is a good thing. Ah, I'm just having a little catch up with the chat here because I've got the screen at an angle. I can't see what's going on. You may have accidentally bought a huge load of jewellery today. Oops. <laughs> That's not accidental, that's brilliant. I like detangling. I quite enjoy it, but it's annoying if you're doing it with all oh, more people in. Sorry, I hadn't said hello to Iris Harris. I hadn't I said hello to Pamela. Um, Anna Lass, that's a good name. Yeah, I don't mind detangling if I think there's something good in it. Yeah, jewellery making. Yeah, you have to have a good long run of it, don't you? And be in the right mood. You don't want it to be like a job. It would take all the pleasure out of it. Completely agree. I'm, I'm exactly the same. I've got to be in the mood. You got photos of the moon last night, Joan. Yes. Um, when we were doing our witching hour thing, Becky was saying, oh, I can see the moon coming out. Of course, I can't because some inconsiderate sod in the 1980s built a house that blocks the view of the moon coming up. So although I saw it late in the evening, I didn't see it nice and low and big. So, um, yeah. What I will do is I will go down the bottom of the garden. I'll be able to see it um, in in the water because that's a very powerful thing to do to see moon in water. It's called drawing down the moon. Big magical thing. It's easy enough to look up. This is really nice. These are I don't often go. This is hippie stuff, obviously. Yeah, but these feel very nice. Lovely little bracelet there. I don't know if that's a kids one or an adult. That's again, it's quite small, but rather lovely. I might be looking into that and see if I can work out what the stones are. Oh, here's a big boy. Drunky monkey. This always makes me think of um, Wilma Flintstone. <laughs> but they're great, they're silver. Real, real nice piece. Now, what is a shame about this is there is some wear on the, on the chain. So clearly someone has enjoyed wearing this. But if that's at the back and it's declared, I still think somebody would quite like that. But having said that, they may well end up in a modern jewellery lock for someone else to get the benefit of selling on or wearing. I'd have to decide. I get indecisive about what I'm going to sell and what I'm not. Ooh, these are little, I think these are glass beads. Very pink on little stretchy. Quite nice. This is a silver tone. Kind of tangled and messed up like this minute. I'm assuming it's silver tone. It's a bit too bright to be silver. Um, you know how sometimes you think you see something and it's not, it's just scratches. <laughs> but I think if the, even if they said 95, I wouldn't believe it. Something about the colour being just that little bit wrong. But it wants to be silver and it's trying ever so hard and it's being a pretty sparkly little thing there with little blings it's got its stones that's quite sweet and pretty i can see that someone wearing that and looking lovely got a very nice chain as well that's nicely made but again that's probably going to go in my modern modern lot right we're getting to the, we're getting to the, the heart of the matter now <laughs> the tangulation. Okay, we have one very sweet little crystal ball bracelet. Now, sometimes these are branded and sometimes they're not. This is Claire's. It's really rather sweet, but probably, and 
a couple of the stones look a bit off, so that can be someone can use those stones for crafting, I think, rather than with sale. This is a sweet little glass, seed bead and black necklace. That's kind of cute. That's really right. These look lovely all layered up, don't they? You get a sort of lot of them together. So there we go, that's the back. That actually is an M&S one. So that's really well nice. That'll probably go into modern jewelry a lot again because I just I just can't, I haven't got the time. Ay ay ay. You've got to find the ones that you can undo, this is the key. <laughs> ones that we can undo. Little bits of things. And if, you know, you get these sort of little, yeah, strange little bits of bits of bobs. Right, find, find the end to this. That will be one I can get out. Where's your end? Come along. Where's your end? Right, there's the end. Should be able to get them out now. It's all got wrapped around this very big. Um, there we go. Mm. So. <laughs> Anyone got any plans for the weekend? <laughs> what well, I'm taking age to do this. Anyone got anything nice planned? I'm probably doing a boot fair again myself. Um, my plan is to take my friend Anne up to uh, to sell her jewellery up at the boot fair and for me to have a mooch round. Um, I've, for some reason there's a glitch on her phone where I can't phone her or get messages through. So I hope she doesn't think I'm ignoring her, but uh, I will probably actually pop round at some point and just drop in and say, well, I've been trying to get hold of you. I am happy to do the boot fair this weekend. I just can't phone you or get in touch with you in any way, shape or form. <laughs> right, let's undo this chunky monkey because I think that's the... I'm blended. I think that's the... Uh, the big pearls, but I've, I've sold big pearls. They do seem to be having a bit of a bit of a fashion moment. Yes, this this could be quite something. We're all getting there. I've got one end of it out. The back of this is scratched up, but does it matter because the front is so cool? Possibly not. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Well, I never. <laughs> never seen such a tangle. I'm just trying to undo everything I can see. It might be magic. I'll loosen it all up because that's the thing with that, isn't it? Don't put it tighter, open it up. Of course, let's go going to crystal. Hi, beautiful is my beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> your hubby hi beautiful i love that predictive text is glorious isn't it <laughs> but it could have been a lot worse <laughs> yeah no my hubby has nothing to do with jewelry at all in fact today he's actually out i mean out out he's um i took him into the office this morning his office this is ms as well um and he's got a meeting this morning and then the works, his, his, his company, are taking them all out for like a rifle shooting, a, no, clay pigeon shooting. It's bizarre, isn't it? I mean, but actually, he's quite a good shot, so I think he might surprise them all. I don't think they're expecting someone to go out there and actually hit anything. But he can. <laughs> um, he actually did it at school, bizarrely. Now, what kind of school does rifle shooting? Only the kind of mad boarding school that he was unfortunate enough to go to and hated <laughs> when he was a kid. Um, he's very anti-boarding school, as you can probably imagine. But he liked the shooting bit of it. So, weird and wonderful English school system. Um, but we're getting there. And you can see what I'm putting out here is this massive. And I, I will sell that because I've sold them before. People like them. But I've got so many other things tangled in here. I'm just unhooking them. And then we might make some progress. So apologies for keeping you all waiting. 
<laughs> she's got other things to do. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh no, where's that one? There we go. It's coming off. It's coming off. There's something quite therapeutic about untangling things. I find. I know not everybody does. It's probably horrible to watch as well. It's boring, I mean. <laughs> I'm very rarely tempted to get the scissors out, only if it's something nasty that won't detangle. And I know I'm not, it's, it's not going anywhere. But there's a multi strand necklace that is really, really locked in. I'm trying to loosen that up first. No, that way, that way, that way. And we can't take this one off until you're taking this one off until you're taking this one off. Oh, okay. <laughs> right, getting there. Yes. Magical detangling powers. One of my special skills, obviously. <laughs> right, someone's come and tangled there. We knew they are there. Uh -huh. Right, we did it. How's that for a chunky monkey? Man, oh man, oh man. No brand at all. But that is amazing. It's on an antiqued brass looking thing. It's a bit of a clean up. But they're in good order. It's quite well made from the looks of things. So happy with that. I will sell that one. So I'm like, you know, I've more than had my money back. I can't, I'm not complaining. Don't understand what that is. Right, let's get, get to the rest of them now. Should be a bit more straightforward. The key is just keep loosening it, don't worry about where it's going. Just pull it apart. Loose, loose, loose. Loose and relaxed. That is okay. <laughs> How did that get like that? Sometimes you think they've kind of like dodged the laws of physics somehow. Attached themselves in ways that really shouldn't be possible. Getting there. Right, this one should come out in a minute now. Right, it's on a string with bonus hair, you know, curls. But how's that for a cool glass puffy heart? I may take it off its string and, and put it in a, a, a glass pendant lot. But they're really rather beautiful. I know they're everywhere, but they're quite nice. Quite nice. Okay, I think we're getting there. I don't know if you want me to do the other bag or whether I should leave that for another day because I'm fully aware I've been on a while. I'm happy either way because I can't resist once I've got loads of things to do. Quite enjoy myself. Balls, I say. Balls. And lots of them. <laughs> Little pink crystal balls. Um, again, I think this would very much like to be silver, but it's not. It doesn't have a brand attached, it's probably M&S or something like that. But that is a nice, very nice, modern beaded. I will double check all these have got their stones. Ah, there's a stone missing. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Well, someone have fun harvesting those lovely pink stones and doing something with them. After all that detangling. Right, okay, so this is one necklace. I may not. Yes, please. Okay, we'll do. Right, what's happened here is this is one necklace. And this is the other necklace. But as you can see, somehow they've become very tangulated. And I will detangle at some point. I quite like this. They're resin beads. Oh, that, that's the back view. That's all scratched up, but from the front, it's quite cool. So, and on, on a, like a lace, laces, you know, like a lace finish cord. So I will come back to those a bit later on. There's something in the bag. I do like something in the bag. <laughs> Bristol. Oh, yeah, so envious. Off to Bristol. You're going to do boot fairs and have lunch and do all sorts of lovely things. No, this isn't silver, but it's one of these rather cute swallow, is it a swallow? A swift? One of those, isn't it? So it's a nice little modern piece. It's 
got a little crystal at one end. It's rather cute. I may leave it in its bag and possibly pop that into a modern jewellery lock because that's really rather sweet. Then I've got a whole jumbly load with earrings. Oops. Bit of plastic. So I've got... Isn't it funny when the earring has a gold post and you're like, that's odd because it feels like a really cheap earring. But they're these. They're a bit unusual. Gold colour post. Doesn't mean a thing. Like an enamel, a bit worn. I don't seriously think I'll be reselling those, but it's always worth a look at something. That's a little bit of plastic that's come off of something, so crafting. Right, we have a pair of earrings. A bit difficult to see, isn't it? Really? They've got a little purpley stone, but it's more red than purple. They are not silver, but they are. I tend to do earring lots for people who want earrings, so. Right, I think I've got two of these. They're quite good, they've got pairs. Again, these would very much like to be silver, but I'm pretty sure they're not. Let me show you, I'm just waving it about. Go dangles. I will go back and look carefully, I'm pretty sure they're not silver. Cool. Oh, these are cool. Ah, <laughs> wow. Sparkly, blingy. Sparkly, blingy earrings. Clip-ons. They're quite um. They got. They remind. They're like those are like those weird and horrible sweeties that you used to get in Bassett's all sorts, the Chris all sorts. You know the purple and the pink ones with the bubbles, but they're quite cool. I rather like those, and they're vintage, so they may get sold separately. Or at least in a vintage earring bundle. This is um, abalone on one side. It's a pendant without a chain. Shell on the other. Let's have a little look. See, I, I mean, it might be silver. It might not be. Oh, don't know what that noise was. No, I don't think it is. But that's a little pendant. So if I'm doing a pendant lot, that can go with. Um, they're all caught up on each other. Right, we have a pair of cufflinks. These are machine turned again, these are probably 70s. Unbranded. I will probably do a cut. I, you know, I do lots of this sort of thing occasionally. Unless they're really amazing, in which case I'll sell them separately. So that's probably going to a lot. Um, stop. This earring that wants to wants to mate with this one. It's like, I'm sorry, you're not the same. These are kind of cute. Little enamel flowers, little five petal flowers, and sweet little earrings. Oh, these are pretty. I hope there's another one of these. <laughs> I do that all the time, don't I? I hope there's another one of these. No, there isn't. Um, I think I've only got one of these, so you may end up in a solo earring lot. Quite nicely made, though. With an open back, I think it wants to be silver. I don't think it is. So I think that's the solo. And I've got little, little one like that. It's got a very big back on it, but again, I think these are going to be solos. A lot of these are going to be one-offs. Another pair of vintage cufflinks there. No brand to them. I'll go with the others. I think I sold a cufflink lot recently. So oh, these are quite sweet. We get these little tie tacks. Very vintage. Um, I always think they could be something because sometimes they are. Most of the time they're not. But hey ho, it's always worth checking. I don't think I don't think he's anything special, which is a shame. So but there we go. That happens. There's some modern earrings there, pierced ears, more modern earrings with a. I think that's a resin, one and a stone, and it's brown. 
It's a, I mean, it's a kind of a sludge colour. Why would you have a sludge colour earring? I suppose unless you're, um, what's her name, Kelly Hopper, who does everything in, in tape. I have a passionate loathing of tape. Just me. Um, is it just me? I loathe tape. Oh, no, these are quite cute. They're tiny. Tiny little black. I hate the black things. I, oh, again, I think it's a, It's not a stone. Uh, a resin of some sort. Well, that's quite cute. But there is only one gutting little cage. You could probably put something in that. I don't think that's silver though. But I I will go through properly and use an eyebrow, clearly. Because one should. You never you can miss things. Ah. There's a little tiny little pair of clothes. Cloisonne, Cloisonne. I'm going to say that probably. They're not silver or anything, but they're just a modern pair that are quite nice. Hmm. And this is earring that kept wanting to, to attach to something else. Don't know what that is, but it's it's nothing special and it's on its own. Ah, and the other one to that, so they're a pair. We have another little tie tack. This looks like it's rather worn at the front. It does say something on the uh, on the little bow at the back. So let's have a look. This looks rather worn though. I don't think it's going to say anything terribly special. England, MP England. Yeah. Okay. So it's got a little wear to it. There's another tie tack here. We didn't quite. Oh, this one's got sort of cut into a. A star sort of shape. This one, Sophos, Sophos, S O P H O S. Don't need anything to me. Don't think it's anything special. But these little things are worth a proper look at because you never know. A little pearly earring again, it's on its own. And it's a bit too bright to be anything of um, of major interest. So you've got to have a look. Solos. Oh, another random bit of rock. Wow. Okay, I think all these are odd. That's the thing, a zipper pull. Ah, that would have been nice if it had a friend. Uh, solos, yeah, this. But there's fish and crown. So, yeah. Fish and crown, but there's only one. Sad, 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 sad. And like I say, a lot of these are. Oh, they're a pair. They're little teeny tinies. They're not anything, but they're a pair, so that's good to know. Little butterfly, all on his own, some not a pair wants to be gold, but he's not. Ah, solo earring. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, that's got third degree, so that isn't anything. Uh, more solos. I've got a pair of these and they do say something on them. I noticed the crystals look really nice. So if I have a proper little look with my eyes, put my eye on. God, it's tiny. It's still very tiny. I, I'm pretty sure that's. It does say 925, the copyright, and something else that I can't make out. Well, they're a nice little pair of silver earrings. I 
what is that? It's Taxco or Mexico? Something co. So he's missing a back though, so we need to try and find a back. Oh no, no, he's not, is there? We both got back. So those were really cute. So very nice. I do like those. And I've got a few more solo earrings that are trying to be something and aren't. And that was that basket, really. Um, basket, that was that bag. So there we go, that's bag number one. So if you do want bags number two, bag number two, you're more than welcome. And that was the slightly bigger bag, the other one's slightly smaller. You're sorting clothes, I'll oh, go for you. Bag here, number two. I was quite intrigued by that. I was quite intrigued by this green. I do green stuff sells well. A lot of people love green. So I kind of thought, well, hey ho, in for a penny to five pounds. <laughs> yeah, we like um, that listing challenge. The thing is, it's the monetary value sometimes as well. So it means you've got to put up some high value items. And I know to, to release them from from smog's lair is quite tricky, isn't it? Okay, this was intriguing, but not really because it's, it is modern. I was kind of hoping it would be vintage, but it's a modern stretch. And it's got a decent amount of stretch in it, so nothing wrong with that. It's lovely. Oh, now, does anyone know anything about these weird satin-covered beads? The, these are vintage ones. Um, but they are that funny where they put satin over plastic. You know, they used to do Christmas decorations like that in the 60s and 70s, because I remember them. Yeah, exactly. So your best putties are not. That's a whole different thing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I think that's very sensible, really. Because it sounds like some of the boys have got some very high value stuff. Um, so that they can list less, but they'll make decent money out of it, which is fine. Um, everyone has a different way of doing things, don't they? Which is, uh, and, and you can always change your mind and do it a different way. So again, yeah, these little things i don't know i i kind of think they're quite fun to try and sell just because they're they're in quite nice condition and they're orange <laughs> they're sunshine color so may do that may do that all right this is the one that oh okay this is the one that grabbed my attention because look at that it's chunky it's vintage it's not glass it is um, plastic and it needs a clean up clearly but it's got the hook it's got the hook sort of thing so that's a with something on it which will probably say yes Germany they often say Germany these these sort of things it's quite a nice thing now where do you hook into it then I suppose you just go over one of these that's the idea but that that's a that's a look and a half isn't it that really is it's quite a vintage statement. It needs, it needs a good old clean up. I will get to that. And some plastic beads. Oh. It's got those little, there is the name of it, it's Matre School, isn't it? One of the little Russian type dolls. But again, these are resin ones, so they're, they're, they're quite nice. They're going a lot. Oh, it's fascinating. Ooh. Right, this must be a bracelet. Shells, anyone? It looks new, to be fair. It doesn't look like it's been... It's all in very good condition. These tiny little... Tiny little stones, shells. I mean, just the work has gone on, you know, threading them all on. It's amazing, really. Maybe a souvenir from being abroad somewhere. Ah, okay. It did feel like it did feel good, which may be why, because I do have a bit of a bit of a sixth sense when it comes to um, silk. There's a quite a nice mother pearl inlay bangle, a bit unusual. So I may very well find some others of a similar ilk and sell them together. I don't do a lot in the way of bangles, but um, so I just like, you know. Mm. 
detangling. Here's another chunky monkey. I'm probably not going to sell all these chunky monkeys to be fair. I'm not seeing a brand attached to this, but that that's a full on in your face thing, isn't it? <laughs> it's good and heavy, but it's one of those ones where they're kind of made out of like shaped like a piece of bone. So you know, I can think of it really, and then they've got these big beads in the middle. They are cool, you know. That is a hell of a a hell of a statement, and that's a good quality one. That's really rather nice. That's a chunky monkey there, something like that. I'm going to be, I'm going to say, okay, that's a mouse cell. So I'll these big ones on because I've got a lot of big ones in my store and I don't want to be greedy. Oh, okay, what's happened here? Ah, uh, attached. Here we go. That's another night in bones here. A nice holiday piece. What do we have here? This is a vintage um, looking, but it isn't. It's uh, that antique brass look. I don't think we have a maker. There. You don't have a brand, but that's, that's a nice wearable piece of jewellery that people like. Or the holiday thing, I would imagine. And have a little... See, I'm drawn to green. <laughs> These feel nice. They're on the stretchy, then. But you've still got a good amount of stretch left. That's kind of quite mild, quite cool. Maybe, we'll see. It's the I'm drawn to the colours of things. And again, we have a... This has some stretch on it, so it's quite nice condition. And this is faux pearl and all these little little, oh, little wheel shaped things with the um with the stones in. It's really nice. It's got grey and white faux pearls. Oh it's quite it's quite well done. That's a, that is a nice thing. That is a nice thing, so I'll have that in a lot. Oh, okay, this is all one. Wow. There we go. Pearls again. It's a modern one. It's not branded, but it has all its stones. It hasn't dropped any crystals or any bling. It's all there. That's quite a nice one. Sometimes the, the brand is on the little taggy bit at the bottom and then it drops off. Ah, now I'm saying it hasn't got a brand. It has. Oasis. There we go, that was Oasis. So that they used to make quite nice, quite nice stuff. So that's a lovely thing. That go more than a lot. Little stretchy CBD things that people can craft with. Hmm, okay. That would be very choker style. It's incredibly light. And it's got one of these slightly more unusual type of clasps. That would be very, very. Weird sort of clasp. Let me have a look. What are you? Just a weird clasp. I'll tell you that a bit will help. I don't know. I think that might have to be a kid's piece because that's, unless it's a, an anklet certainly isn't certainly isn't a necklace and it's too big for a bracelet so that might be an anklet don't really know don't really know about that possibly kids does anyone have any luck selling anklets i certainly i certainly haven't done well i've not really tried but i'm not aware of there being a market for them Right. This has got some nice glass glass beads on its little charm bracelet. Silver tone. Butterflies. Um, but the beads are glass. Just it's not branded as far as I can see. It's quite nicely done. And it's green again, you see. I do love green. So it's got a sweet, nice little wooden item. 
little stretchy there. Let me pop that into cross and then we'll do something with it. Ah, this is interesting. These are stone of some sort. Um, slightly green. Lots of good stretch in it. What I tend to do with these is kind of collect a few different ones like the amethyst chips and the rose quartz and things and then sell them later. Oh, bye Iris Harris, bye. <laughs> um, so I find individually they don't necessarily do very well, but there's a lot. Yeah, could do all right. And this is another little stretchy. Oh, the stretch on that is going though. I can feel that, so that will go into a craft lot because there's some lovely bits and things on there that someone can do things with. Okay, someone help me out here. What is the purpose of this? <laughs> is that is that particular bunny a thing? I mean, it's been very nicely carved out of wood. It's quite well done. I'm just confused. I, I it's on a stretchy over the neck thing. Bunny, yeah, bunny. <laughs> yeah, bye, Rebecca. Yeah, I, I, I don't understand these sort of things, kind of, unless it's. You know, it's something that I know nothing about, which is entirely possible. There's a lot I don't know much about. That's kind of weird. More research required. Here we have another stretchy. That's got some nice beads on it, actually. I'm quite tempted to pop that into craft, even though it's not actually broken. Do that. Stretchy. But with a clasp. Oh, the stretch is unstretched. These are wooden beads. I'd probably pop these into craft because I think somebody could do something much more effective with those. So we're getting right near the bottom now. There's no earrings or anything in this one. Because I had, I had my fair share of earrings in the, other, in the other bag. But, you know, for £10 spent, there's plenty of things that I will sell on and... Do, do fine with. There's plenty of things that I can add to my modern lots. I, I will have some more. Well, I will have a, another modern lot. I don't have loads. I'm not. I'm not in Lexus category. But every now and again, I put enough together to get a modern lot, a vintage lot, a kind of generic broken lot. And I sometimes do a vintage broken lot because some of the things in there are lovely and need someone who knows what they're doing. Um, that's kind of how I how I'm rolling at the moment. But I don't have a vast quantity of jewellery, so unlike a certain someone. It's always fun for £10. I don't have to undo this because it's, it's knotted up. Right. Okay. Oh no, this is quite funky. Hang on, get it the right way around and it'll be even nicer. I like this. Now, this is modern. Oh, how cool is that? <laughs> it's like rays of the sun. There we go. Do it like that. that. You've got the three with the rhinestones. Don't appear to be missing any. It's got more movement. I quite like that. It's a bit of a retro nod, isn't it? To something from the past. Looks very well made. Does not. Doesn't have a brand. But you see, something like that also, just because I like it, that's how random I am. <laughs> just, I like it. Uh, two tiny pieces. Oh. Nah. So small, I can't even pick them up with my fingers. Very thin chain. Again, nothing particularly special, but very cute design. With a little... Sort of like a dream catcher that's not going to catch your dreams because it's hollow. <laughs> a little feather on the bottom. Kind of cute. Little modern thing there. And then we've got one here. Which is a little thin chain. And a crystal, a crystal at the bottom. That looks like a very nice crystal, so I'll have a look. See if it is anything. Because you never know. Mm -hmm. 
it's very nicely done. It is quite cute, but it's not Swarovski or anything like that, which is what I was looking for was the little swan. It tells you what it is, but it, I don't think it is. I'm not seeing it. But that in itself is, is a nice little thing. Very delicate, very cute. But so far as I can tell, no brand. So there we go, my modern lot. So there you go. That was £10 worth of bags and another another £21 worth of clothing and knickknacks and various what's it. So that was not bad for an unexpected morning out. Andrea's in. Andrea, you are late. <laughs> Do you need to go into the corner and write lines? I know, I wasn't scheduled. Um, you can always watch back. It's mostly jewellery. There's some clothes and some book of backs, but I found kitties. It is. There were three of them. Where's the other one gone? He's disappeared under a pile of jewellery. I found kitties. It's a group of three. And probably something that you would have been interested in. This is Port Marion's Totem. And this is like a milk jug, creamer kind of thing. Um, I, I just love that. So, yeah, there you go. Just for you, Andrew. <laughs> so, there you have it. That's today's haul i really should get on with some listing lex should definitely get on with some listing <laughs> no don't stand in the corner <laughs> i'm sure you've got lots to do it's lovely that you popped in so um i will probably see you all later i've wasted quite amount of your time all 31 of you watching and those who didn't join in the chat that's lovely it's lovely to have you here and i will see you all another time so tutty bye i will end the broadcast in my usual random fashion yes i will and <laughs> Ta-ra! Lunch.